It was his mother's leg. It had cramped again. It was also election day in the US, 4th November 2008. I had to be on call, live on my television network, the entire day. I asked for a work from home so I could look after my mother-in-law and went to Summit's house. As she lay on the pillow listening to bhajans, I massaged her legs. There was hair on them, and warts, but still, I massaged them. I gave her a hot water bottle. I found her medicines and administered them. I thought I'd make a nice lunch for the family, but work got more hectic. Sunit refused to help. His father and he were watching Pardes. A working adult had to cook for three non-working adults because she was a woman. I didn't protest. But I also didn't have the time to soak basmati rice for 30 minutes before cooking it, the way they liked it. I didn't have the time to cook loki or make raita, as Dad had asked me to. We sat down to eat. The air was sullen. There's less jeera in the dal my father-in-law said. And you added haldi before the lal mirchi again, didn't you? Sorry. I replied insincerely, I admit. Dad criticized my food every time I cooked, so I stopped trying to impress him. Sunit glared at me, again. This seemed to be his de facto face with me when his parents were around. A face designed to show them that their lardla beta controlled his wife. I was past the point of caring. I wasn't superwoman and didn't intend to be one. They were discussing Kamini and a move back to Summit's house next week. She would be joining us for dinner today. They had held a separate family meeting with her, the previous week's sons, only me, on the condition that she apologized to them for having broken their trust and brought grief to their family. An email had found its way into my inbox as well, apologizing for the toll her actions had taken on my marriage. I hadn't asked for an apology nor needed one. She wasn't the reason there was a toll on my marriage. But this was their condition for letting her back into the house, into her house. I was just glad that I would no longer be the only outsider in this hell of a family. Later that evening when we were cooking dinner in the kitchen, Ma turned to me and said, I was going to slap you today. Again, I recoiled at the use of such language. Why, Ma? What had I done? Where were you when my leg was cramping? I looked at her in confusion. Maybe she was suffering from the onset of Alzheimer's. I was with you, remember? I didn't go to the office to look after you. I gave you medicines, rubbed your legs. Yes, and then you locked yourself in the room to sleep. I rubbed my neck. In the last two months, I'd had a constant throbbing at the base of my neck. My shoulders were always stiff. My back was in perpetual pain. It was as though an iron mold had been cast inside my body. I wasn't sleeping, Ma. I was working. I said slowly, as if talking to a three-year-old child. I had to be on live television today, remember? I locked the door so that no one would walk in by mistake. I had told you this. Is your work so important that you ignore this family? Is it worth it? You're hardly even making money. There it was. First, they wanted a working wife for their son, who also cooked and cleaned. Now, they wanted a rich working wife, who also cooked and cleaned. Did they think that their unemployed lazy son was such a good catch? You left me alone for an hour when my leg was cramping, she continued. Was her leg cramping a performance we had to witness? That's not how family behaves. There was no way to win with this family. I mumbled an apology. Maybe the strategy was to divert the discussion to more positive topics, like Dad's upcoming 60th birthday. So, Ma... I asked, carefully adding one and a half katoris of water to the dal, the way they liked it. I'd sent all of you some ideas to celebrate Dad's birthday, but I didn't hear back from anyone. What do you think? Why don't you ask him yourself? She snapped. I... I thought it would be a surprise. I was thinking of making him a cartoon strip about his life. I had told you all about this a month ago, I think. Let me know if we should do it. Otherwise, it will not be ready in time for his birthday. Are you threatening me? What? How dare you? You threaten me in my own kitchen. Saying this, she walked out of the kitchen. I stared after her. She was walking straight towards Sunit to complain about me. Once again, I had no idea what I'd done wrong. I realized that finding faults with a person does not require the actual presence of faults in that person. I held back my tears. It was difficult. This was a rare time in my life when I was crying all the time. Sometimes 
I was so overwhelmed by my own unhappiness that I would cry in public. The first time I did this a few weeks ago was while carrying two heavy bags of groceries home. I was so embarrassed about crying in front of people that I wore my sunglasses, even though it was winter and there was no sun. You will find the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this video. It is crucial for me that you subscribe and give a like, I appreciate it. Finally, if you activate the bell icon you will receive a notice from YouTube every time I upload a new video. Have a great day!